After the television coronation, people wanted to see more of the Queen as they'd wanted to hear more of her father after his broadcast ceremony. So a new Christmas tradition was born. We thought it would be uh, very helpful for the Queen to see a professional um, speaking a Christmas broadcast, or a previous one. And so I asked Sylvia Peters if she would come to the studio to record a previous Christmas message, which she did, and this was shown to the Queen uh, to point out um, certain aspects of the use of the teleprompter, uh, the script, etc. I was sitting at a table with a script, and I merely started by looking at camera and saying I was going to demonstrate five different ways in which you could put over um, a speech on television. And the first method, I don't know who dreamed this up because it was terrible, was to learn it, which would have been almost impossible for a Christmas broadcast. So I just learned a little bit of the script. Then went on to another method, which was to treat it as a radio broadcast, look at the script all the time without raising your eyes, just reading the message. And then I then demonstrated a third method, which was to use the teleprompter. And that meant looking at the teleprompter all the time, not taking your eyes off, not moving your head too much, and not looking at a script. And the fourth method was to read the script, basically, but look up every now and again, sort of rather like that, which I think is a very fidgety way of doing something, which I've often seen newsreaders have to do if their teleprompter breaks down and they're virtually reading a script and trying to look at the camera every now and again. And then the final method was to basically use teleprompter all the time, but at certain points in the script to look quite deliberately at the script to give a change of pace and change of movement of the head. And I'm very happy to say the Queen chose that method, which is quite difficult because you can lose your place either on the screen or in the script. But she did use that with great success. And I suggested to the Queen that uh, if she could only think of one or two people that might be sitting round a fire in a cottage uh, listening and watching her, uh, rather than the vast audience of millions uh, listening and watching. And she thought about this very carefully and said, I know exactly the people I shall talk to. It's a farmer and his wife who live on the Sandingham estate, and I will aim my broadcast at them. Because that is the essential of a good uh, broadcast, intimate broadcast. The Queen isn't, although the Queen in fact is talking to the whole Commonwealth, it should look as if she's talking in individually to every single person in the Commonwealth. Happy Christmas. 25 years ago, my grandfather broadcast the first of these Christmas messages. Today is another landmark, because television has made it possible for many of you to see me in your homes on Christmas Day. My own family often gather round to watch television, as they are at this moment. And that is how I imagine you now. The Queen, at a dinner a little while afterwards, told us that after the broadcast was over, when she and the royal family came out of church at Sandringham, the next time they came out, she noticed that instead of there being the usual thousand spectators, there were 10,000. And she saw that she was a television personality as well as the Queen. She realized clearly the impact of television.